What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Okay, so we're gonna start our adventure right here. Eh, just getting some apps for our little, you know, phone slash uh, uh, controller thingy with, uh, you know, the watch thingy. Yes, our Poke app, our Poketech app. Yeah, since we won a few gym battles and all that stuff, now we're we're gonna be rewarded with a few Poketech apps, like the memo pad. I think we needed to get like three or four more badges on that stuff. And then, uh, let's see, he's gonna give us another one right here. Let's see. Oh yes, the marking app. I believe that one is for marking a territory or, you know, letting us know uh, things that are useful. You know, that kind of stuff. Marking things that are useful and stuff. And here we have the link searcher. Uh, it's basically, you know, checking out wireless internet and all that stuff. Now, in this episode right here, technically, yeah, this episode should have been 30 minutes long, but I separated them into two because, yeah, I really don't feel like uh, talking for 30 minutes again. And, hey, take a look at that. I'm using the, 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 the pad right here. Look at that. Hi, guys. That's right. Okay, so enough screwing around with that kind of stuff. And, uh, well, let me see. I'm going to show you another thing right here. There's the link searcher that right there it takes a look at your, uh, your, uh, your wireless. And right here, you can actually mark, uh, you can mark any kind of territory in the map right here in a Pokemon, uh, or in Sinnoh. That way you, if you guys are remembering something very, very important or useful, you know, you can find it right there. I don't know, my explanations are bad. Okay, so we're moving on right here, and yes, this episode is heavily edited, just because, you know, it used to be 30 minutes and all, all that stuff, and we're gonna be taking care of a few things. Yes, and now that we have Surf, we're gonna be going around areas where we needed Surf to find items, such as the Moonstone right here. That's right, the Moonstone. Don't you guys love Moonstones? It evolves Pokemon. Certain Pokemon and all that stuff, like if a Clefairy or Clefable or anything like that. And then, uh, let's see, there might be something right here, and yes, like I said, guys, uh, this, this episode is heavily edited just for the, just for these purposes, because I didn't really want to talk for 30 minutes, uh, I already did that in the returning episode, <laughs> episode 41 and all that stuff, and, uh, I guess I have a little bit more episodes now that I pushed everything forward, and, uh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find my dowsing machine right here, and see if, uh, you know, if I can actually find this thingy. Let's see, where are you? Okay, so there's nothing right there, so we're gonna be moving forward. Uh, eventually, I go into Candelave Cave, or Mount Coronet, yeah, Mount Coronet, just to uh, see something, but it didn't really work out. So now we're right here in this route, and uh, we're gonna be getting the items that we couldn't get now that we have Surf, yeah. Wow, I just like tumbled on my freaking words right there. Anywho, guys, let's see, what else is there? What else is there to do? I don't know. Just find stuff. Any kind of item. I'm hoping to get every single item right here. Um, yeah, and there there will be battles here too, guys. That's why this video is near, damn near 20 minutes long. And uh, let's see, I'm just gonna serve right here with uh, with my good old uh, Hydra number four. Grab that little item. There we go. We found ourselves a Rose Incense. I think that powers up any kind of grass type Pokemon. I think it does. It really does. And uh, let's see, let's move on. Let's go right here. Go downstairs and find ourselves something else. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, yes, here we go. Found this place right here. And uh, what we got to do is surf. And there's a hidden area right here where you can actually find two more berries. A tomato berry. I don't know if tomatoes, tomatoes are, are like actually berries. It's an overgrown berry. And here we have a lumberry. Don't know what that does, but I know it's pretty good. And, uh, well, let's move on right here. Deep blue sea. Yes, trying to find everything I can with this surf technique. Anything that I can possibly can, or anything that I possibly can. Wow, I can't even fix up my words right there. So let's see. This is a big area right here. I believe we can actually get something. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna use a repel because I really don't want to get attacked by any kind of Pokemon right here. And uh, let's go surf. Surf sub, buddy. And uh, there's one more item right there that we can retrieve. Can't get it while we're surfing. And look at that. TM, the TM84 poison jab. Very good move. Very good poison type move. Um, I think I might teach it to someone, one of my Pokemon right there. They actually did well with the poison type moves right here. And I don't think there's something that we can't retrieve here. Let's see. Nothing. Oh, maybe there, where those trees are. We might be able to find something. Let's see. 
Oh yeah, this is right there. Okay, so we found ourselves a max ether. Very, very good. Look everywhere, guys. Weird positioning items, rocks, trees, you know, you'll be able to find stuff. And, uh, let's see, I think that's all for this area right here. I just want to double check and see if, uh, if there's anything else. Nope, nothing else. Okay, let's move on right here. So, now we're back here where we actually chase the Team Galactic guy, and this is where the battles are going to begin right here, because we will be finding some stuff, um, along the way, like a water stone, somewhere around here. Um, make sure to bring repels if you don't want to get attacked by any Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's see, there's nothing there. And look at that guy, he's just looking at us, surfing and all that stuff, and there's an item down there, and there's a girl right there that just looked at us. Okay, so... She's a high right or she's a wave riding trainer. So here we go. Let's do this again. We're gonna be battling Swimmer Haley, and she's gonna be coming out with her yellow duck. I mean side duck or gold duck. Remember that fact, guys? That's a very, very good fact. So let's go ahead and just destroy this guy. If you guys don't remember in the last two episodes, realize that I didn't really train my Pokemon on a to the level that I thought it would, but then again. I guess I, I guess it's a it's a good thing that I'm struggling a little because you guys don't normally see that with me, but eventually I will train my Pokemon. There we go. Alrighty, so that's one guy down, and uh, she's gonna be coming out with her Zuma roll, so that's gonna be a tough guy to take on. So I'm gonna be switching it up to my guy right here, Gaia number two. Oh yes, Gaia number two. Let's get this. Alrighty. And uh, guy on number two right here is going to look like a badass because he's got Shockwave. Look at this. It will never miss. It will never miss unless you're underground, maybe. Could be wrong. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. And look at that. Oh, there's a rollout that, well, takes a little bit, but won't take a lot. And uh, how did that Shockwave not work? Okay, so let's go with a Drain Punch right here just to try and get this guy going. That's right, we regain our strength, but we have to beat this guy pretty quickly because every rollout gets stronger. Very, very strong. Don't want that. Alrighty, so let's go. Let's go right ahead and, uh, let's see. Psychic attack. Will that work? Mm, not really. Doesn't take this guy out. He's got like a really good defense, and this guy's kicking my butt right now. That's a third rollout, and that's a critical hit. You don't want that. Alrighty, so there we go. There you go. Bye bye. Say goodbye. Alrighty. Alrighty, so uh, that's another guy down there, and uh, that's time to move on uh, with getting items. And of course, there are Pokemon trainers here, so I'm going to be battling every single one of them. You see, I am not going out without any battles or any fights. So let's go ahead and battle this Sailor dude right here. His name is Sailor Moon or something. I don't know. But here we go. Bring it. Sailor Paul! Oh, I thought it was Sailor Moon. And I'm going to be coming out with Donatello right here. Okay, Donatello. Let's see what we got. Um, Earthquake. That's right. Earthquake. Remember, poison-type Pokemon. Poison-type Pokemon right there. Alongside with the water-type Pokemon. But it's it's all good. It is all good. And as you can see, bye bye Tentacool. Kicked your butt just like that. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, coming out with a Pelipper, I might, might as well. I might as well switch it out right here with another dude. Gotta get my Pokemon's levels up. Really have to. I really do because, uh, you know, eventually we're gonna get into the Pokemon Center. Or, no, the Pokemon League. And, uh, yeah, they're gonna be tough. Very, very tough. So here we go. It's a payback attack, really? You got a payback? Oh god, okay, so here we go. Thunder attack and no protect. You a-hole. How could you do that to me? Why would you do that to me? And there you go, thunder attack. Look at that. Bye bye Pelipper just got not oh yeah. Ooh yeah. Alrighty, so let's see. Everybody's getting experience points. Gaia number two as well because you know it's still getting its butt it's still get its it gets its butt kicked. Trying to get, trying to say that, oh, like three times. I don't even know. But look at that, Starblade, ready, and taking on a steroid-induced Pokemon right here with the championship belt. By the way, I had a championship belt when I won that championship, guys. Yeah, true story. 
And uh, there's that fly attack. Let's get ready to just uh, miss an attack right here. And here we go. Starblade. Fly attack. For the win. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, it didn't faint, but it's, sub it's putting me into submission with that. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's a dick move right there. But you faint because of that recoil thing, which is hilarious. Alrighty, so, uh... There we go. That's how you do it. So let's move on right here. I believe there's a few items hidden around here somewhere. So let's go find them. Be awesome about this because, you know, there's only one, well, like, well, only we can. I guess everybody has their purpose in here. And uh, this guy is, like, blocking my way. So I, I'm going to switch up my Pokemon and just decimate him. Destroy him. Make him feel bad. I don't know. Embarrass him in front of that girl right there? I don't know. We shall see. And if we get around, he's not going to be losing. All right, whatever you say, Mr. Speedo Torpedo. He's coming out with uh, Gyarados right here. Okay, okay, he's bringing some heat right here. I'm liking it. I am liking it. All righty. And uh, would you look at that? Seriously? No fucking way. No friggin' way. They, they have that? Oh, damn, I just wasted a lot of money. Never mind. Okay, back to the game right here. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. Shockwave for the win. What the hell am I doing? No, I am not watching that. And look at that. Shockwave does its thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. And here we go with the Dragon Rage. Definitely didn't see that coming. And uh, Gaia number two gets beat. Really? Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, so let's just move on right here. Uh, I'm using Hydra number four. You know, my own, uh, my own destroyer of worlds. You know, that dude. And, uh, well, here we... Oh, he's coming out with a twister right here, so I'm gonna endure that. And, uh, I'm gonna be doing this. Thunder attack for the win. Eventually, thunder is not gonna be my my go-to thing anymore. I wanna say that, but whatever. And there we go. He's coming out with another Gyarados, which is, I guess, good. Shoot. This guy's bringing some heat right here. Alrighty. I like, I like how this is going. I really do. Alrighty. Here we go. Thunder attack. Does it win? No, it doesn't. Ah, oh, crud. And, uh, oh, wait, it does. Never mind. What the hell am I looking at? It's dang. And look at that. He's coming out with three Gyarados. Wow, finally a trainer who gets it. He freaking gets it. Holy bejeebus. He, 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 he really does get it. Okay, so I'm enjoying this battle right here. This is another guy that you can battle and, uh, you know, can battle and actually, uh, you know, get experience points if you want to just train up your Pokemon right here. And, uh, look at that. Hydra number four grows to level 36. And Shelton, with an I, you know, because he wants to be unique. He says it's a good battle right there, so I'm gonna... No, I'm not doing that. Alright, let's see. Super Repel. Um, okay, I gotta revive my guy because, of course, it's a weakling right now. But it won't be very, very soon. Trust me, guys. Trust me. It's like they say out there, trust in the process. And, uh, okay. Everything else right here. There's nothing, and uh, if we just grab that, we find ourselves another max re uh, revive. Very, very good for tough battles, which, you know, there there are some tough battles ahead. And, uh, alrighty. Let's move on. Right here. I believe there's a few more people that we can actually battle if you just get out of this little labyrinth kind of thing in the in the water thingy. And uh, let's see, I'm just gonna go right here. And yes, there's quite a few people there. There's two. I, I think I can double battle them. Let's see. Oh yeah, I can. But I kind of feel like one of these guys is gonna be an asshole and just like turn around when uh yeah they're gonna, they're just gonna turn around and just make it a single uh, person battle right here. Just watch. Okay, so I'm just waiting. And yeah, it's this asshole right here. Okay. Alrighty. Let's do this. Bring it. Bring it. Just bring it. Alrighty, so he's coming out with his Golduck right here. Originally supposed to be named Psyduck. And I'm coming out with Starblade. Looking like the badass he is. Oh yeah. Fly attack. You won't attack this. That's right. Alrighty. And there we go. Fly attack. Does it do it? Will it do it? Bye bye. 
No, it doesn't. Not strong enough. And, uh, okay, trying to lower my defenses. Okay, I see how this is gonna go. Bring it. Let's go again. Fly attack. Let's see what happens right now. Alright, he misses, and there we go with another fly attack. Will it win? It does. Yes, it does. Okay, so I did it right. Okay, I'm scratching my head right here, and, uh, okay. Let's see, he's coming out with another gold duck. Okay, so these Pokemon trainers are real. They actually have some pretty good Pokemon right here, and, uh, well, I'm just going to be going with this guy right here, Donatello, because he's the dude that, uh, yeah, he's the dude that is reliable when it comes to these water type Pokemon. And, uh, alright, using that quick claw to do this. Oh, yeah. That's right. That is right. Oh, damn. Guy cannot faint. Please, somebody just faint. Alrighty. Okay, so let's go ahead and use that earthquake and see if we can actually beat this guy right away. What I want to do is just destroy these people. Take their soul away. Send their souls to the Shadow Realm. That's what I want to do. And uh, does he go away? Yes, he does. Goodbye, Golduck. That's right. Okay, okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm very, very proud of myself right now. Okay, so we got one more trainer right here. And uh, pretty sure she's not going to be that tough. Maybe. I don't know. I always say that about everybody, but they turn out to be super tough. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what we got. Finneon! Now, originally, I actually thought that Finneon was in a new evolution for, uh... A new evolution for uh, Eevee, because all her... Well, all of Eevee's evolutions end with an Eon or something. Yeah. And, uh, this one turned out not to be, because it's just a fish. It's a really cool-looking fish, I guess. And uh, there we go with the fly attack. Does it do it? No, it doesn't. And uh, the guy's coming out with a safeguard right here. Okay. There we go. There we go. It's trying to heal itself. So I'm going to finish this guy off with some aerial ace attack. That's right. Say goodbye. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. And uh, he's going to be coming out with a Pelipper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be switching it out and giving some more experience points to everybody else. Uh, one guy being Hydra number four because it's pretty badass. Alrighty. Okay. Let's do this. Thunder attack, right? Thunder. Ladies and gentlemen, third round or third down thunder. That's uh, if uh, you go to any football games. <laughs> and uh, that's right. That's how you defeat. That, that, that's how you defeat a beauty like that. That's right. Okay. So let's see what we got here. Got ourselves a water stone. That is awesome. Okay, so this is where we're going to end our episode right here, guys. I'm going to be flying to the next place, which, uh, yeah, I completely forgot. We have to get to Cantalave or, yeah, Cantalave City. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be back in the next episode, flying into the next city and, uh, yeah, taking care of business. That's right. See you guys.